Good morning, everyone. So today I figured I'd take you along and just share what I, sorry, I have a doggy that is very hungry and scratching at his bowl. I'm gonna feed you in a minute, bud. Mm, you hungry boy. I figured I would take you guys along and share what I eat in a day. This is not like, <laughs> this is not gonna be a typical what I eat in a day because I feel like sometimes I watch these and I kind of side eye them because I'm like, okay, yeah, you sure you eat like that every day. I'm telling you right now, Whatever I'm eating today, every day looks different. First up, of course, is always coffee. Sometimes we make a pot, like when we are like feeling it, which this morning I was like, I'll make a pot. Other mornings, the first cup is a Keurig and then maybe we'll make a pot later on in the morning. Oh yeah. So a lot of mornings I just drink my coffee black, if I'm being honest. Sometimes I'll use creamer. This is my favorite creamer, the Organic Valley French Vanilla. I really like it. It's still got that nice sweetness to it, but it's only got a few ingredients, which is nice. So it's kind of a cleaner creamer. <laughs> now my toddler is just waking up. I can hear her. So I've got some dishes to get done this morning. Um, we'll see what she, I end up giving her. I'm definitely already hungry. So on mornings that I'm not super hungry when I wake up, that's usually a good day to make smoothies because it takes a little bit longer and it's not quite as, it's delicious, but it's not quite as satisfying as like uh, eggs and toast or something like that. So this morning I'm pretty hungry. So I have a feeling I'm gonna make some eggs and toast. And we actually have these new like breakfast sausages. We're not vegetarian or vegan, but these are like plant-based ones. And frankly, I just wanna try them. So I might cook some of those up, we shall see. But seriously, first I need to take a uh, sip of coffee. When that first sip of coffee hits your soul, man. Another little caveat, you know, we're not really following any specific diets right now. We've done some intermittent fasting in the past. I did Weight Watchers to lose some of my postpartum weight, things like that. But right now we're really not doing anything. We're just trying to be smart about the portions we eat and the variety of what we eat. So you'll get to see that today. It's, it's I would like to think what we're eating is pretty darn normal. Genevieve, good morning. Hi. <laughs> So this little almost year old, she's getting some like peanut butter toast, some yogurt and some berries, a lot of her favorites. She won't eat like half of this, but you know. Okay, so we are gonna try this breakfast sausage. It looks like all I have to do is heat some oil and some water in a pan on low medium and kind of cook them on each side. These we just kept in the fridge because we just bought them at the store, so they aren't frozen, which will make it faster. We've got some eggs to scramble and I wanna show you our little trick for scrambling eggs. So we typically have like two eggs each, kind of depending on the day, but we love taking heavy whipping cream. I don't have any right now, I need to get to the store. So we've got half and half but we'll pour a little bit in, maybe a couple tablespoons and kind of sloppily whisk them together. Tyler always says to leave it almost like chunky. It sounds really gross, I know. And then put some salt and pepper in them, low, medium heat, slowly, and just kind of fold them. For me, I always felt like my scrambled eggs would get all dried out, but with the cream in it, especially if you have heavy cream, but half and half, like I said, is still better than not using it at all it really adds this creamy factor to it that makes it not feel so dried out. Okay, ignoring my ridiculous mess of dishes I need to deal with here in a minute. Uh, this breakfast really is about five minutes. So the eggs will take a couple minutes themselves. These sausage patty sausage patties will take a couple minutes themselves too. And of course you can do real sausage uh, as well. And then the toast can be going while you're working on it if you're gonna have toast. It's a really quick breakfast. And actually the lunch I think I'm gonna have today is also like a five minute lunch. So. Yay. I still don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I gotta figure that out. So when I say folding, I really just mean, you know, only really kind of stirring slash turning it when it needs it um, so it doesn't cook too much in any one spot. So here's the breakfast. Honestly, this turned out to be more than usual. Usually we don't have the sausage, so that's about all we have, but I am pumped. I am like crazy, like ravenous today. So just tried the sausage. It's very sagey. Wouldn't you agree? No. I haven't tried it yet. Oh. It's too uh, hot. It's hot. Oh, yes. So sagey, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's not bad though, but it's not like I'm not going to be dying to buy this a lot. <laughs> and we eat meat. So, you know, we'll still eat sausage. It's not like we have to replace it but so for lunch today we're just gonna do one of my favorite lunches i do it like once a week sometimes twice a week depending i 
feel like most days for lunch, we do leftovers. Sorry, I was just outside. My nose is all red. It is like cold outside. At least once a week, typically, sometimes twice a week, I'll do a wrap. Some of you guys have seen this if you've seen some of our past vlogs, but I'm gonna show you my favorite way. It's really, really quick. It takes like two minutes, but it is absolutely delicious. My husband likes them too, so I'm gonna make both of us one. So these are my favorite brand of wraps. Um, it's these light ones, and it's, I guess the brand is flat out, but it's only 90 calories, and they're like, meaty wraps that sounds gross but like they're like girthy <laughs> this is my favorite brand of lunch meat their turkey breast is pretty good and then i usually put mayonnaise and mustard depending on the day my husband loves spicy brown mustard so those two and then some sliced tomato on the wrap i absolutely love black olives so i usually have some of these in the fridge already. This is just, I used up the last bit we had. So opening a new one of some sliced black olives. And then because I'm trying my best to eat more greens in my diet, cause I don't love eating just salad all the time. I usually will grab a handful of this and stick it on the wraps. And by the way, cracked black pepper on sandwiches and wraps is so good. And it's one of those things that I wanna say my dad originally showed me and I was like, what? And I'm telling you, pepper makes sandwiches and stuff like this so much better. It's good on salads too. So that's pretty much it. Tyler's a little bit bigger than mine. Sometimes if we're in the mood for it, we'll put cheese. I don't feel like cheese makes or breaks these for me. So I don't really worry about it. And I typically eat like cheese at some other point during the day anyway. So obviously I made this look prettier than I normally would, but that's basically it. I grabbed some carrots and hummus. We also love pita chips. These are the ones from Aldi that are so flipping good. I might grab like some fruit or something to have with this too. It is funny though, I feel like a lot recently I've been like trying to think of new lunch ideas, but the reality is, like I said earlier, most of the time we're just eating leftovers from other dinners that we'd had in the past. And so lunches are kind of like no brainers for us, but I do kind of want to branch out. So if you have any like really good lunch ideas, please let me know. Also, another thing, the hummus we're having is actually homemade hummus that Tyler, my husband made, and we have the recipe on his, whoa. We have the recipe on his website, so I can link it below. It is so good, it is so good. We don't make it every single time. Sometimes we buy hummus because we don't have all the time in the world either. But uh, man, when it is made at home, it is absolutely out of this freaking world. So I'm a little bit tired after lunch. It's around like one. So I'm gonna make my second cup of coffee. Tyler drank the rest of that pot. <laughs> <laughs> which is no surprise. So I'm going to make just like a little Keurig cup. I have these little reusable Keurig things you can buy on Amazon for like under 10 bucks, I think. So I actually am almost out of this Javelia one. This is my favorite brand of ground coffee. I discovered it this year. My favorite roast, however, is the house roast. This is the traditional. Um, it's pretty good, but the house roast, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's just better. I can't explain it. Especially if you're someone that uh, likes black coffee, it's a good tasting black coffee. Also, we're watching Bob's Burgers. I know you're surprised. I have been re-watching that clip of me trying to do an artistic shot of the coffee and it falling over and over again. So I am about to have a snack. I really like these like sharp, like cheddar jack type cheese sticks. My toddler loves them too, although she is still napping. So I'm gonna have one of these. Dinner time, I am gonna make, this is actually from the Chrissy Teigen Cravings cookbook. These sesame chicken noodles are so fast and they taste kind of like pad thai noodles. You know what I mean? It's just so good. It is so easy. There are a few ingredients I think that you might not have like tahini. Uh, you might not have red, white vinegar. I mean, I don't know you, maybe you have all these. Sesame oil is something we now use all the time. And I have learned that a lot of you guys do cook with. I do a couple of shortcuts. She does the chicken in a certain way. Let me show you what I use. I literally use these like grilled and ready little like chicken chunks. They have off brands too. I just buy whatever's on sale, but they're so easy. Literally, we put them with some olive oil frozen on a little skillet they cook for a little while and then they're done and the nice thing is they're pre-cooked so really you're just kind of heating them through it makes cooking with like chunks of chicken so much faster than doing the whole chicken breast thing i know i'm just super lazy we didn't have fettuccine which it calls for so i'm just going to use this angel hair i bought quite a few like whole wheat pasta items recently and you know what over the years of trying it I just don't like whole wheat pasta I don't know there's just like a certain texture thing I don't mind chickpea pasta as much 
So anyway, I'm basically just trying to use it up. We have a couple of these, so I'm definitely gonna use this up. We ended up doubling the recipe because we've made this a few times. My husband is pumped because this is like one of his favorite dishes. It's honestly one of mine too. It actually is pretty spicy. It calls for a half a teaspoon of cayenne. We've realized a fourth of a teaspoon is plenty because the first time we made it, doing it according to the recipe, it was just a little bit too spicy for me. My husband loved it. So it's so good, it's so easy. And really the only other thing other than making the pasta and cooking this chicken is that you make a sauce with a lot of the other ingredients right here. And then you literally just combine them all and it's done. Ignore my Stella with the straw. <laughs> We happen to have uh, green onions, so those we are gonna top with this, and you guys, it tastes so good. Literally, the chicken took me like five minutes. Measuring and combining basically the ingredients for the sauce took me all of three minutes, and then boiling the pasta and putting it in another five. This is literally like a 10 to 15 minute dinner. It is so fast. So here it is all combined. I'm just kind of heating it back up. I had to lay Gigi down in the middle of this, so I had to kind of pause. It is done. It smells incredible, and it looks so like fancy, but again, it was so easy. I'm telling you, if you like any version of Pad Thai, you will love this. So, that is everything. Honestly, most nights we like eat dessert, but we just weren't, we ate a lot of that, a lot of that pasta dish. I'm like still full and it was like an hour and a half ago that we ate it. We just watched another episode of Ozark. It's also crazy. Anyway, so if you enjoy this video, let me know. I'm, this is kind of experimental for me, this type of video. I've never done one before. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So let me know what you think. I have done recently a cooking video where I shared three really easy weeknight dinners. They're all like, 15 minutes and under really, or maybe 20 minutes and under, but they're with ingredients you most likely have at home. So I can link that up in the eye and down below. We also do vlogs on my husband's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. We've been doing them every week since quarantine. So if you wanna binge them, if you're just like chilling and needing something to watch, I can also link his channel and our playlist of those down below. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.